Hi, I'm Tim Gillingham with Gold Tip and welcome to the Compound Bow Tuning Series. Today we're going to cover many aspects of arrow and bow tuning that are going to allow you to super tune your compound bow and arrow setup. So many of you have heard lots of terms thrown around like paper tuning and bare shaft tuning and, and walk back tuning and group tuning and you know all of these are you know quite confusing to the new guy coming in and actually I think it's pretty confusing really to a lot of the guys that have been in the game even for quite some time. Um, I've spent a lot of time with this, I understand it quite well, and I'm going to show you my methodologies and what I think will work very, very well for you. So let's get started. Let's explain the most popular. So let's talk about paper tuning. In paper tuning, or any tuning, what we're trying to do is drive the power stroke of the string down the center of the arrow. Uh, old school methodologies were more about bending the arrow around the problem in the bow, but with today's compound bows and the knowledge that we have about tuning now, we can teach you how to tune your bow by observing how it reacts through paper, okay? So there's really one basic thing that we have to understand about paper tuning, and that is, you know, when we shoot an arrow through paper like this, and let's say, for example, we get a high tear. Say the fletching goes through like this, okay? What this allows us to do is observe what the arrow's doing, okay? The only thing you really have to understand is if an arrow's going through paper this way, the broadhead or fill point is going to want to steer in the opposite direction. So we're going to observe arrows through paper and we're going to make adjustments to those tears and what we're really trying to accomplish at the end is we're trying to drive that power stroke of the string dead down the center of the arrow. When we accomplish that, we're going to have a perfect hole through paper and you're going to, have, you're going to find that paper is a very valuable tool in your tuning process. On to some of the other methods. You know, what's really popular right now is bare shaft tuning. Um, bare shaft tuning is a method for tuning, but I don't necessarily like to use it because we don't actually shoot the arrow in a bare flatch configuration. And when we add, you know, four veins on an arrow that weigh, you know, seven grains apiece, that's 28 grains of weight and structure on the back of the shaft, it does change the dynamic reaction. So let's just explain bare shaft tuning, okay? So bare shaft tuning is pretty similar to paper tuning, okay? So if I shoot a set of, you know, fletch shafts here, and then I shoot a set of bare shafts and they impact down here, this tells me that my arrow is coming out of the bow like this, okay? So my arrow is, is coming out of the bow upwards and steering downwards, okay? Without fletching on the shaft, the arrow is going to steer and not be able to correct itself. So it tells us where the bow is out of tune. This is basic bare shaft tuning, and then we'll make adjustments based on where the impact point is. And we're going to cover this in detail later. Okay, on to uh, what people call walk back tuning, or they call line tuning, or it's called French tuning. I really don't like this way of tuning because it's pretty random, and I think it's basically a result of someone that, that is not able to paper tune the bow. So they're, they're tuning the bow so it's adequate, but not necessarily optimal. So what it, what it consists of is drawing a plumb line, and then we're gonna shoot, the, shoot an arrow at, say, five yards, and then we're gonna go back to 50 yards, and with a properly tuned setup, this arrow is gonna fall in this vertical line, okay? Now, this is simply just assuming that we have a good enough tune in the bow so that the arrow is stabilized at this five yard point and it's going to fall vertical from this point going forward. Not necessarily an optimal tune, not necessarily going to guarantee your broadheads fly like your fill points, okay? Or that, you know, you're going to fly, the arrow is going to stabilize as quickly as it could with a perfect paper tune. But it is a method of tuning. Um, it's used in, I guess, where places where people don't have access to paper. So they're getting an adequate tune that says, hey, my arrow is stabilized here and it's falling vertical at this point. That's a basic concept of walk back tuning. Um, group tuning is another thing you'll hear thrown around and group tuning is, you know, basically guys will go out to a specific distance, usually 50 to 70 yards, and they'll just basically make random move, you know, random adjustments to their rest trying to get their arrows to group the best. And I don't think this attacks the the reasons why a bow is not tuning. It may just be at some point you're getting lucky in the process. I'm going to teach you a very surgical process for tuning arrows, okay? And then after we get all this tuning done, 
I'm going to talk to you a little bit about super tuning your setup. Now what I call super tuning your setup is making sure that all your arrows go through paper, you know, perfectly, okay? And what you'll see is that all arrows are not created equal, okay? When you start shooting your arrows through paper a lot, you'll start to see that they don't all make perfect bullet holes. You may have one that, you know, does a little bit of a high left hair here, you know, one that shoots a bullet hole, and then you may have another one that shoots a, you know, a little bit of a right tear, okay? Well, I'm going to teach you how to go ahead and tune your setup out and be able to diagnose this to see where you're at and what is most optimal for you and your setup. 